The tamaraus, the only living species of dwarf buffaloes in the world, are found nowhere else but in the biodiverse island of Mindoro, Philippines. Though small, the tamarau is recognized as one of the Philippines' national emblems of strength, a symbol of vitality that is now being challenged by extinction. So little is known about this creature, but one thing is undeniably clear. Its population is declining at an alarming rate. From 10,000 in the early 1900s, their number is now down to less than 400. Endemic only to Mindoro, its decline must be stopped now before it's too late. The Tamarao is a symbol of Mindoro Island. Anybody who comes to the Philippines and who discovers Mindoro will be interested with the eight tribes uh, from uh, the Mangyan and the Tamarao. Now the Tamarao is an uh, endangered species. So indeed, uh, I am very interested and I wanted to see how I could help. Given the situation, the Tamara Conservation Program, a banner program of the Philippine Department of Environment and Natural Resources, is conducting its annual Tamara Population Count Operation to assess the minimum number of surviving Tamara. But this survey is limited to a little area which represents only 20% of Mount Iglit Baco National Park and 2% of Mindoro Island. Thus, the public and the private sectors are now banding together to push harder for the protection and preservation of their natural habitat at a larger scale. Composed of the Dabuville Foundation and Noe Conservation, in partnership with BENR Paubi, Provincial Government of Occidental Mindoro, private entities and non-profit NGOs like the ABS-CBN Lingkod Kapamilya Foundation, their mission is to find solutions to a baffling problem. What is causing their disappearance and how to arrest it? Surveying just a portion of the Tamarau's sprawling and ragged natural habitat is daunting, but already the conservation team found revealing clues that could have gravely contributed to their steady decline. Among them are, overhunting for meat and trophy was one of the main reasons for Tamarau decline in the past. But nowadays, the recurrent poaching activities by lowland Mindoreños remains a critical threat to Tamarau despite the fact that the species is protected by law. The density of the island's human population has increased continuously during the 20th century. Clearing tropical forests for agriculture purpose in the lowland and continuous habitat destruction have pushed the Tamarau to find refuge further inland, reducing greatly its range. Nowadays, suitable remaining habitats are scarce. The indigenous Mangyan tribes, the first inhabitant of Mindoro, have been living with Tamaro for centuries. Their actual growing population increases pressure on space and natural resources. Furthermore, they are progressively colonizing the interiors of the island, reaching new and remote areas where Tamaros used to graze. And there's also a dramatic lack of knowledge on the Tamaros ecology, as well as a serious lack of understanding of the Mangyan communities, their Kaingin practice and vision upon the land, hence the absence of an integrated approach towards sustainable development in the areas concerned. To integrate Mangyan tribes in conservation, we need to understand them. We need to know what they have in their head, in their mind, what they want, what how they are living, what their connection with the environment. And, uh, and this is also an anthropological uh, approach. Our vision is to have an island-wide survey of the Tamarau. For us to at least settle once and for all if there are still existing population in former range. In doing that, we are reaching out with the scientific community. That's why we are so receptive with the partners, foreign and locals, which could help us in doing our vision. 
this uh, island-wide survey is very important because it gave us idea on how many of the extant Tamara are still existing in Mindoro. So when you say conservation status, Tamara is on the topmost level, which is critically endangered. An alternative and viable solution to halt the Tamaro's dwindling count is ecotourism. And this means involving the Mindoreños and the Mangyan tribe in the protection and preservation of the Tamaraos and their natural habitat. After all, their day-to-day -day survival is highly dependent too on the continuance of the Tamaraos population. Another way to, of the project is to look for sustainable manner to do that and the sustainable way to protect the Tamaro on, on the long term is to generate incomes in Mindoro in the park to find resources to sustain the activities and actions we are now implementing. And this generating incomes will be done through ecotourism because ecotourism is probably the best way to protect nature and provide people with opportunity to discover nature and provide local population with business opportunity. The big issue is to increase the population of Tamaro, which is now estimated at 350 or 400, which is too small for long-term survival of the species. The next critical step to be taken by the team is to create an enduring priority action plan to complete and continue the Tamaro conservation program. And this requires full public and private partnership. Their joint effort will make it possible to complete an island-wide assessment, launch a scientific study on the pattern and ecological impact of the Kainin practice and grassland burning activities, further the community-based approach with a consistent ethno-ecologic investigation on the different Mangyan tribes living on the historical range of the Tamarau, support law enforcement against poaching, release a recommendation list and support the local stakeholders to implement it. Combine the results of the biologic studies and ethno-ecologic investigation to define an integrated island strategy plan for the Tamarau conservation. Yes, we will do everything we can. We are doing now the counting that will help us to find out what is the real situation of the Tamarau. And from there, decision must be taken steps must be taken and hopefully in 100 years we will go back to, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 Tamarao running around.